Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back. Basically, I have another dance competition. Woo, it's tomorrow actually. But it's far away. It's like an hour and a half away. So tonight, I'm driving to my hotel and I'm gonna be going on my first trip alone. I, I don't think I've ever, what? Now hold up, this suitcase is advanced. Oh shit, that's cool. So I'm gonna be taking my first trip alone. I've never gone on a trip alone before. You know what, I, I can't really multitask at the moment. I'm gonna pack and then I'll come back and talk to you because my brain, I just, I can't do this. Okay, sorry about that, just packed so I'm a lot more focused. Basically, I'm taking the first trip ever by myself and I'm 18, I'm an adult so I can do that. Although I don't know if you have to be older than 18 to check into a hotel, which would be really bad if I got there and they're like, excuse me, what are you doing child? Check checking into a hotel, but I'll just be like, I have a dance competition, I need to sleep. Also, when I vlogged at my last competition, I didn't tell anyone that I was vlogging, like I didn't tell anyone in my company that I was vlogging. I just did it like kind of secretly. And then I come into rehearsal after the competition, they're like, hello, Miss Vlogger. Cause they all watched it because they're like, well, I wanted to see myself cause they're all in it. And so I'm probably gonna be vlogging more with them this time because they already know that I'm a vlogger. I would not consider myself a vlogger. I will talk to you guys later, greasy hair. Alrighty, I'm all packed and ready. This is my first time alone in a hotel, right? That's really scary. Look at this new luggage I got. It's really nice. It even has a lock on it, which I think is super cool. I'm about to arrive at the hotel. This is crazy. Cause like the hotel that my street is on is on like a crazy ass road. Like there's people walking. There's some type of event happening right over there. There's security. I am so tired and I need to pee really bad. But for the first like 30 minutes of my drive, I was like, this is so boring. I cannot do this. And then I turned on Emma Chamberlain's podcast and I was like, oh, <laughs> this is so easy. The rest of it went by in a flash. We'll be at the hotel soon. <laughs> that is all. Awesome. Thank you so much. You too, bye-bye. Ordered room service, that was stressful because there's no fucking menu in here. I searched high and low, every drawer, and then I called the front desk, I was like, I don't have a fucking, I didn't say that. I was like, I don't have an in-room dining like menu, and they were like, oh, let me transfer you. And then I was transferred to in-room dining, and I was like, I don't have a menu, and they are like, oh, we don't have menus, you have to go to the front desk. And then I was just like, you know what, do you have eggs and bacon? Like. <laughs> Get me my eggs and bacon. They're like, yes, we do. Ordered eggs and bacon, toast, hash browns, coffee, water. I'm exhausted. It's 6.30 in the morning. I have to be there at eight. I got two fucking liters of water because I drink so much water and all they gave me was this. Hold on. This is gonna last me five minutes. Like, this is not enough water for Jaden. Feeling good though. I also got a coffee, which I never drink coffee, but <sighs> we took it there at 8 a.m. And then awards are until 10 p.m. So I'm gonna be there for quite a while, quite a while. Also last night was scary. I felt super lonely being in this hotel room all alone. I thought I would love it. I thought I'd be like, wow, I'm an adult, but I hated it. I was like, no, I need at least my parents or someone here. Like this is scary. I'm also gonna set up all my skincare nicely on this counter because that makes me very happy. Also look at this cute little bow. And then I'm gonna clean my hotel room because this is what we're working with. It's messy, so I'm gonna pack everything I need into that suitcase for the day, and then everything else will probably go in there. And then that's me. I look ridiculous. <laughs> if you watched my last vlog of my last dance competition, you'll know I got so burnt. And what you didn't see was the aftermath of that burn, which was, I kid you not, one of the most painful things I've ever been through. I'm not making that mistake again, and I brought sunscreen. Skincare's done. Now I'm gonna pack my bag and clean this hotel room. <laughs> like a really bad idea to drink the sink water because i need water like right now <sighs> i feel like i'm like dying i know i'm being like dramatic but if my mom's watching this which i'm sure she is she knows i'm not being dramatic Jaden without water is like a recipe for disaster i'm gonna drink the sink water i literally don't give a fuck whatever i really don't care <laughs> Ugh, it does kind of taste like sink water. Oh, I'm about to grub. Water. Oh 
Pull you out. Run strong. Currently walking to the auditorium. This is so easy. It's a three minute walk. Thank God for my mom who found this hotel and booked it for me. She's the fucking best. Do a dance. <laughs> What's up, y'all? <laughs> Ultimate Brawl, baby. Let's go. Open air. So we got to the auditorium and we did our dress rehearsal and then now we have an hour and a half break and I'm gonna do my hair and makeup now even though it's kind of early. So I'm gonna go do my hair and makeup. Love you. I changed into shorts because it's hot outside. I did my makeup and my hair and I'm gonna walk back to the auditorium. Goodbye. I got my badge. We got our badges. So cute. I said don't move, Sean. Your eyelids, how am I supposed to be making your eyelids are moving? Five, six, seven, eight! Happy birthday! So this is a Crix P. Uh, looks by Crix P. Looks by Crix. Crix choreographed the contemporary section. Give it up for Crix. And I'm painting faces. Uh, so good. Do you want? You said scar, right? I don't care. Oh, okay. Do you want sad or mad? Mad. Nah. Right. Anger. The lighting is really good. Really? Yeah. Oh my God! Wow. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna get those. <laughs> now you're talking to your boss. No, I'm not. I was just saying that out loud. Guys, I don't think we're gonna get these. In second place, please show your mom the Ebony! <laughs> Oh 
Once again, y'all, Santa Clarita Zone, second place, the Avenue! That not only did we already, like after we got off stage, we already won, right? We already mission accomplished. We did what we wanted to do. We got off there. We left everything on the stage. I just want you to remember tonight and how you felt and the work you put in up until today because it was worth it. Not just because of this, but already before this. But this is a nice touch, right? <laughs> so I hope you guys are proud of yourselves. Give yourselves an applause. Woo! I don't have a lot to say. Just thank you guys. This is just a cherry on top. You made an impact on everyone in that crowd. That That's more important to me than, than the trophy. These memories that we make with each other is more important than the trophy. Yeah. yeah. All right. One more for the books. Five, six, seven, eight. Avenue on three. Avenue on three. One, two, three. Avenue.